look at your forecast over that. Here's meteorologist Devin Lucy. He's at Granger Elementary for today's weather school. Hi, Devin. Hi, Emily. Thanks so much. Thanks for tuning in here to one of the favorite things we get to do every week during the school year, which is <laughs> midday weather school. <laughs> With at least I love, <laughs> applause. <laughs> That's a first for Midday Weather School. I like that. Everybody's applauding what we've got. That is a great one here. Thanks so much to Miss Miller, Miss Anderson, Miss Heiner here. At least three of our fourth grade classes where I have five in total. We've probably got about 120 students in here today. Sure, it sounds good to me, right? Ballpark figure. Just something off the top of it. It's, it's math. We use that a little bit, right? We use that a little bit. We sure do. So, you know, we started off Midday Weather School where we talked a little bit about something and a particular subject, we did talk about that. But that falls under the category of one particular category that's one of my favorites, right, today? Ooh, I think I saw a hand go up over here. So I'm gonna have to readjust, get things in the other hands here, and I'm gonna see that this young lady, what's your name over here? Uh, Kelsey. Kelsey, so what is that particular subject that things fall under that happens to be one of my favorite? Uh, blizzard. Okay, that's a type of weather which falls under this subject that you study in school, of which it's the big subject, which is one of my favorites. But Blizzard is a type of this in that particular subject. Let's just go to our young lady. What's your name? Isaiah. Isaiah. So what is that particular subject over here? Tornado or science? I looked for the second answer is the best answer, which is the correct answer, which is science. So science might have a little bit about to do with what we're talking today, right? Which is because we already talked Miss Kelsey Blizzard. And Blizzard also falls under the category of what that I might happen to be of an expert in. And we let off with talking about that today. What is that particular subject that I might be a bit of an expert in? I try to be sometimes, I don't know, but what is this gentleman's name over here? Let me squeeze in real quick here. What's your name, sir? Eli. What is that particular subject under of which science that I, I like to study a lot of? Snow. Which is a type of? Weather. Weather! You think that weather might be the thing we're doing today? You think? Well, it is the thing we're doing today. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But for the first time in midday weather school, let me take another little seat here. I actually crowdsourced things a little bit here today. What was the question I asked today? Did we want to talk more about tornadoes or snow? snow. I really, I'm really surprised but maybe I shouldn't be here in Utah, that we want to talk more snow. So, we will, but for right now, maybe we'll talk more snow for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at our forecast that's going on right now. And a look outside is the JD Byrider downtown cam. Who likes that picture that you're seeing outside here today? Who likes what you're seeing? I think we should all like what we're seeing here today. You know why? Because it's clean air. We can see the mountains today, right? We can actually see what's going on outside. And real-time temperatures, really maybe not much of improvement. We're still cold. We're working right around freezing. But many temperatures across the region, we have got that sunshine out today, which is some of the best we've had in a long time. Because we've been dealing with something, and maybe we talk about this a little bit longer too, because it could be the thing that affects us most over the next seven days. We hear it as the inversion, and that's just short for a temperature inversion or an inversion layer. So, yes, we might have to deal with more of that. In the meantime, the cold air is in place after the storm's been away. No storms yet to come, at least anytime soon. But we do have that cold air that's locked in. And with a calm pattern, we are setting up the pattern for potential to get a temperature inversion and at least warmer air. So as we go through the high-res pinpoint futurecast forecast, you know what's set to come our way? A whole lot of nothing. We do see a weak front comes in tomorrow night into Saturday. But that may actually hurt our air quality. And that's probably the biggest thing over the next couple of days, air quality to where that's going to go. It's good today. It's green. We know that. But as soon as we get towards tomorrow, the air goes to yellow. We go to moderate. And it could get even worse as we go to the weekend. Anybody want to be outdoors for the weekend and having fun? I think if my son and my daughter were here, they would have their hands up too. The thing is, I don't think the air gets all that bad that we're staying indoors, but it's not going to be pristine. So here's a look at the St. George seven-day forecast, where today a few high-in-the-sky clouds gets us to low 50s. St. George this weekend, if you want to make a trip to southern Utah, they could be near 60. How about that? When was the last time we were at 60 degrees? Forever ago, of course. 
And then the seven-day forecast here for the Wasatch Front Salt Lake forecast. So this shows to sum it all up that we've got a temperature only about mid-30s today, 34, 35, maybe 36. But we see the sun. Tomorrow we should see the sun again. And then over the weekend, Friday into Saturday, a week front, it keeps the sun around. But the thing is, it's not a strong enough front that we keep on blowing in better air. That strong storm yesterday, breezy conditions brought in and pushed out that bad air. We will unfortunately decrease the air quality as we head in the weekend to go next week. I don't see after this storm yesterday anything anytime soon. There's a potential Monday, but I'm not going to hold my breath for it here. Okay, Granger Elementary, fourth graders. We've got a big group here today. We're talking weather, and I hear we want to talk more snow. So we'll talk more snow, and then with you in about more 20, 25 minutes, we'll talk a snow potential for you, too, here from Midday Weather School. Back to you guys. Okay. Sounds great. Thanks so much. I'd like